morning and welcome to For and Against. Today we're looking at the world of the paranormal, more specifically psychic powers. And as usual, we have two expert guests to debate the issue. Firstly, psychic extraordinaire John Wade, currently touring with his psychic show Amazing People. He'll be making the case for and hopefully we'll be joined by Dr Craig Stevenson from Clyde University's Parapsychology Unit to argue against. So, John, your show is mainly about reading minds. Well, that is part of it, yes. Well, we've decided to spring a surprise on you and put your gift to the test. In the studio with us is one of our listeners. We've picked her at random. We won't tell you her name or anything about her. So let's see if you really can read her mind. Sorry, I'm late. It's traffic. Right, let's uh, see what we've got. I'm getting a strong signal. An A. C. Oh, an S. Susan. Yes, that's right. I can sense a real kindness in you, Susan, but sometimes, maybe not too often, you're misunderstood. I see a man in your life and an initial G. That's my son, James. Yes, James, your son. He used to get very angry with you, didn't he, when he was younger? And though he feels more of an adult now... He's just turned 18. He was angry with you recently, wasn't he? You know what you have to do, Susan. You have to forgive each other. We have. No, Susan. I mean, really forgive. Stevenson, can you explain Mr Wade's extraordinary demonstration? Probably. Susan, can I ask your age? 48. OK, so 53 then. Susan is one of the most common names for women born in the 50s and 60s. Even so, it's an impressive guess. Well, it's certainly a guess, but the big S hanging off of Susan's necklace makes it less impressive. Mr Wade knew her son's name and age. He knew neither. Susan told him both. I mean, there's a man in almost everyone's life with the initial J. It could be first, middle or last name, or it could be his son, or a father, or a husband, or a brother, or even a friend. So you... Uh, hold on. I'm getting something for Mr Wade now. Yes, 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 it's a girl. And there's an A in her name. Well? As Dr Stevenson knows full well, there's an A in the majority of women's names. There's an A in eight out of ten women's names. Anything else you'd like to discuss? I'll be paid in today. Thank you. Look, sorry if I was a bit uh, obnoxious. Well, I like to think of myself as charm free. No need to apologise. Been in this game ten years. You get used to the knocks. Ten years? Funny, I'd never heard of you. You really are charm free. Look, I saw your show last night. I was impressed. Your technique's good. Thank you. It gave me an idea for some research. I'm interested in the seductiveness of your act, psychic powers and people's need, stroke, desire to believe in them. Well, you want to study my ability? Your apparent ability. Look, all I want to do is sit in a couple of readings and observe the journey you lead them on. Now they lead me. Exactly. Who's leading who? I have a few private sessions in a couple of hours. If the clients agree, you're more than welcome to sit in. Great, I'll get my bike. You come from a small town, don't you? Well, sounds specific, but in fact very broad. Anywhere between a, a village and a large city at some point in my life. Not specific enough, OK. I'll name it for you. Helensborough. 